obviously the last 24 hours has been dominated by this talk of the Super League. Have the players, have the Leeds players have much chance to absorb it, to discuss it at all? Um, we've just seen pretty much what everyone else has seen on Twitter and stuff and I, it's, <laughs> it's amazing just like the things that they're talking about, I can't quite comprehend. I mean, it's just it's, it's amazing the amount of uproar as well that, that comes into the game when somebody's pockets are being hurt. Mm. So it's a shame it's not like that with all the things that, that go wrong mm. at the minute and um, racism and stuff like that. Mm. But it's just how it is at the minute. Good point. At times like this, does it, is it a real distraction to players, something like this? Um, I don't think so. I think it's something that we talk about, but um, once you get on the pitch, you're not thinking about what's going on outside, outside the ground and things like that. It's just uh, we're like fans, really, and everyone else just I can't believe it and talking about it, don't know what's going to happen and uh, in shock. Talking about on the pitch, the players did wear these T-shirts, didn't they, in the warm-up. Yeah. How important was it to make a point, do you feel? I think that... <laughs> For me personally, what I've seen on, on Twitter and in the news, I haven't seen one football fan who's happy about the decision. And I think football ultimately is because and it's for the fans. So without the fans, every single club would be pretty much nothing. So I think that it's important that we stand our ground and show that football is for the fans and try and keep it that way.